Hi guys and welcome to my channel Tarot Lumière. I do um, angelic tarot cards readings by zodiac sign and this reading is for Aries for the weeks uh, from April the 18th through May the 1st. So Aries, let's see what you need to focus on this week, these weeks. Where do you need to focus your energy on? Okay, so we have teaching, freedom, and talk to your angels. So this week, apparently you inspire young people to learn. So maybe you're gonna have to train someone um, to teach someone to share some knowledge to younger people. And then we have freedom. You are free to do what you choose. So you are free to do what you choose to do or who you choose to be. Granted that um, this is who you tr truly are. If you, I mean, you are advised to be your true self this week and you are um, told that you are always free to do what you want and to be who you are. No matter, no matter what people say, no matter um, what people think uh, you are supposed to do, you are supposed to be, doesn't matter. You do what you feel like doing and you are just who you are. Just be who you are. Talk to your angels. Okay, maybe there's um, going to be a, lot, a, a bit of worry, worrying this week. I mean, these coming weeks uh, for you. So if you have any doubt, any worry of any sort, just release them to your guides, to your angels, and talk to them and ask them to release you from that burden. Um, they can take it. They, we cannot take all this worry and at the same time live a happy life, but they can take it, okay? They're pure light, so they can take whatever darkness you have inside of you and whatever worry um, is troubling you. So just talk to your angels for guidance and for lifting up that burden. So Aries, now let's look at what is going to happen for you. Okay, so it makes total sense because we were talking about not worrying and releasing the worries uh, to your angels. And this is, again, a card that says that worry is unnecessary. So a lot of worrying for you, uh, Aries, for the next couple of weeks. What else? A need for nurturing others and especially yourself, Aries. Okay, so Aries for you, these coming weeks, a need for releasing worry um, to your angels. 
uh, focusing on positive thoughts and also what you really desire. Okay, uh, I don't know what you are going to face face this week, but you are um, going to be challenged and you're going to have a lot on, on your plate and you are going to need to just let go of that worry, um, ask for help uh, to you guys um, and yes, just focus on your goal. What are you seeking to achieve? That's what your mind should be uh, focusing on and not what if that doesn't work? What if all the what ifs, you just uh, put them aside, um, release them to your angels, to you guys, and you, your uh, main job is to focus on the outcome, the result, what you are uh, willing, um, what, what you are uh, dreaming of doing, what you are um, planning on achieving, your end goal. You just focus on your end goal. Okay, this week, um, usually this card is about um, so being nurturing um, to others, organizing something. Um, it could be reorganizing uh, the life of someone or uh, making sure everyone is content, everyone is comfortable, everyone is happy with the way things are. Um, yes, usually it's reorganizing something, organizing something, maybe organizing a party. Um, last week, somebody told me that it was about reorganizing um, the... Um, the shift schedules uh, of a department in the company. So, yes, that kind of things. And while doing so, always remember to take care of yourself as well. And then we have a positive new emotional experience. Fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insight. So you see, you are above the water. It's like you, you're finally in a good place emotionally. And you're starting to uh, be able to feel and receive the love, the opportunities. All right, so let's see how to approach um, these situations. Aries. Oh, two cards. Okay. Um, well, you need to approach them with an open heart. With passion. Oh, I like that. The second one. I'm just going to talk to you in a second. Okay. Oh, all right. So, this is time. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to. If your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. So, maybe that's why... You are worried. You're feeling worried. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. So you are asked to be loving, intelligent, passionate and fun. 
and you are asked to handle situations, difficult situations with grace. So how do you do that? Well, I told you uh, by keeping an open heart. And then um, makes sense. I, I yeah, I was saying it makes sense with the second one. Uh, this card of um, organizing something. Um, this one advises you to be creative, to be fully who you are. Um, yes, to be very uh, creative. And um, accomplishing what you have to accomplish. To give birth to new projects. So, yes definitely has to do with this one and then you are asked to um, let the past behind and maybe take take a trip um, go for a little vacation um, could be a, a day a weekend or a longer trip so plan for something during the week or maybe plan for something um, for, for uh, the near future but yes difficult times are behind you and in order to move forward you it would be good for you to just take a step back and um, and relax all right, Aries, um, that was it. I hope you liked the reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to keep watching these videos, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you a wonderful, beautiful week. See you next time. Bye-bye.